Hello, and welcome. I'm Zyner, and here we are once again playing Resonant Rise. And, uh, I figured I was wrong with the soldering station. The, uh, soldering station needed a supply, supply of power. So, I got that going, and I figured out what was wrong with my piping situation. Uh, let me grab the wrench. Now, the easiest way to resolve this is... Th these are just basic logistics pipes. I just set every single one of them to a default route. Now, that's not going to sort them based on what's in the chest or anything, but I'm not really too concerned about that at the moment. But uh, here is our resulting table. As you can see, I've got it hooked up here. Uh, also, the thermal expansion connectivity is currently off because I'd have to change the config every single time it starts. And Honestly, I don't really care. Now, I do want to make some quartz glass to replace this because apparently we're on a new fork of chisel is why that's not connecting properly and it provides uh, some issues with things not performing as well as they probably should okay now the reason why I did that uh, missing 16 glass there so that'll send everything in here now this is a ghost crafting grid meaning everything in there is a ghost image now when I just click it, it'll craft it. So that will make me glass. I'm going to replace these. This is a uh, fused gla glass from Applied Energistics. It, it's good. I didn't, in this particular case, I wasn't too happy. Would you move, please? I wasn't too happy with the... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The clear glass, anyhow. I kind of wanted something a little bit different. Although, I mean, this isn't exactly the cheapest glass I could make. It's actually kind of expensive, but that looks pretty good. Uh, I'm also not 100% sure that I'm happy with the willow wood as a building material. I also haven't really added onto the building at all. I did have a slight difficulty where a creeper decided to blow me up whenever I was fishing didn't kill me, but it took out this entire wall. Uh, so, my solution was the interdiction matrix. Now, I can supply this off of just one of these with three sets of upgrades, which is actually quite ridiculous. And it's been running like this for quite a while, so I know that works. Uh, I'd actually set this on top of the soldering station at first because I didn't feel like waiting. But as you can see, I can request things in here, and I made different things, like the chassis and the item sinks, and that's currently not hooked up, because I don't see a need for it. it. It took a lot of fighting with it to get it working. This is still what it was, the chassis with the extractor, but you don't need to be there. Unfortunately, this is just going to kind of put it in a random place, so it's down there somewhere, but it's down there. Uh, I'm going to put this here. My supply of chests, or, well, yeah, the number of chests I have down there, provider pipes, I'm going to run out very quickly. And I'm thinking about doing a series of ME chests, because it'll extend the lifespan of chests without going the full route of just shoving everything into uh, one thing, and it also mean I'll only need one provider pipe, which is very useful. Uh, I already burnt through one blacksmith hammer, as you can see, I fully repaired my gear, and I did a lot of fishing, and this is the result. I got a name tag, there's actually a leather helmet, but I got rid of it. I got an iron wheel, I was kind of disturbed by that, but uh, you'll notice I have a lot of one type of fish, but then not so much the others. That's because I got through about two stacks of bait. In this water pool, which you can see I quarantined it off so the uh, algae would leave me alone. And these just kind of pop fish on top of them, but it doesn't do it very often. I went over there and started fishing in the ocean because I realized something. Let me just grab the book. Hello? There we go. Uh, if we... Oh. I do need to make an incubator at some point. But if we go back here, where it says fish, you'll see that it depends on certain things. 
For example, this says frozen, ocean, cold, frozen, normal, cold, frozen, frozen, ocean, hot, arid. I don't know why the frozen's in parentheses, but... Uh, now, I'm going to assume that the fact that this says ocean means that if I were to try and have the fish, it would need to be... Well, first of all, things would need to be cold. Uh, think of bees. Every area has specific specifications. So in this case, this is just a swamp. It's cold. So, by cold, it'll work for cod, maybe. I th think the ones that say ocean require the water to be salty. Although, I'm not sure, because this says ocean, hot, arid, but it also says frozen. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Voice started kind of going away on me. So... The worst case scenario is I put a fish in, it dies, and I get a raw version of the fish. Uh, the downside is, is I need to make... I made uh, the Crucible Furnace, which is made from burnt bricks, heating components, which is silicon carbide, and then just that. Uh, unfortunately, that took a lot of time and a lot of lava to get there. Now, I did make this as well, which is pretty simple. And if you put a tank under it, you can power them either off of solid fuel, which I had coal in there because I was burning down and making uh, magnesium, or you can power it off of oil, liquid-facted coal, uh, blazing pyrothium, pretty much any of the standard liquid, full, fools, liquid fuels. And, well, I quarantined off a bit of... Oh, Right here. I put stone bricks around it to stop the two from mingling so I could tell where I'd gotten the uh, stuff out of it. Although, I want to try something. These are the Mariculture tanks. They're just made with uh, wood, glass, copper. They hold 16 each, and you get two of them per, and you can pick them up and contain their contents. Now, I do want to make some titanium. And, as you can see, I got impure. Impure just comes from uh, rutile. Here, which is found in pretty much as far as I can tell anywhere that contains either patches of limestone or which is a lot of the times ocean. Now, the impure titanium ingots are pretty much useless by themselves, but if you mix it with magnesium, so we'll go. Why are you fighting with me? Anyhow, if you take both the bars and put them in like that. So one in pure titanium and one magnesium. And I created some hyperkinetic upgrades. They're just basically sugar and aluminum and sugar and iron. They make it go faster. Because I'm impatient and it goes ridiculously slow at first. Also, pretty much everything has a chance of extra output. Why are you not using magnesium? Uh, okay, stop. 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 Let's try this again. Just stop. Uh, I might have to do this the hard way. Which is one, two, three. No? I don't understand. Why are you not melting? I don't... Oh, that's what I'm doing wrong. I wish I could right-click it to go backwards, but this will have to do... What? No. Stop. So if I put that there and then that there, is it going to consume both of them to make titanium? Good, good. This means I should be able to leave this on auto extract now. Now they go in here, they form, they cool to form ingots, sort of like the uh, Tinker's Construct smeltery stuff, and then they get spat out here, which I want me a third piece of titanium. 
Uh, the way you're supposed to make magnesium is limestone in the freezer from the mod. However, I got magnesium from metallurgy and it works just as well. I just melt it down into the bars first. So, that's useful. I want to try something though. I noticed something as I was strolling through uh, uses for titanium. There's a bucket. And look how much it says it holds. Now, I'm curious as to how this functions. Uh, do I have any good way of dealing with this? No. I'm just going to grab some tanks. And... I don't know if I can actually transfer with them, or if they'll only take from blocks in the world, or whatever, but... We're going to investigate this thing of oil here. And yes, I know, interdiction matrix, I am outside of the range where you're going to kill things. There's another thing from Mariculture I want to make as well. There was a spout here, I kind of tore it down a bit. Okay, so how do you work? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you're holding eight. Oh. Oh. Cool. Uh, okay, that makes life so much easier. Whoop. The reason why I'm uh, using oil is because uh, it and fuel, well, the absolute best fuel to be using for the purposes of, like, absolute efficiency... In, or not efficiency, but the most heat per uh, block is blazing pyrothium. So, but that's a bit of a pain to make, in my opinion. Uh, eight. So this amount of oil should keep us pretty well good on the crucible for a while. Did I get all three of them? No. One of them flew somewhere. Now you can see it says oil, 16,000 millibuckets. Where did you go? No, no, seriously. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Did I get it? Okay, good, good. Uh, I'm probably going to make a pump at some point to deal with that. Although I really like this titanium bucket. It's something that I'm never going to worry about a recipe stealing from me, I don't believe. Let's just see if it has any uses. No. So that is really useful. Uh, I was asking for a hand crank pump, and nobody even bothered mentioning the titanium bucket, which is the best thing ever. So, I don't need all these other buckets then. And what I can do, uh, for the sake of things, uh, right, that is because I was going to pump out fish oil. I'll just place these up here. The only unfortunate thing about fish oil is it takes time, because I'm going to need a lot of fish to pull it off. But there is a thing in Mariculture, the speedboat. Now, the reason why I want the speedboat, wow, you really screw with any eye, don't you? Is because it is a boat that when you get out, it stops moving. So that's one major thing. And then on top of that fact, it then doesn't slide around on you. Like, the moment you get out, it stops, according to what I read. And the only way to break it is if the player themselves breaks it. So I'm sure you can see how I really like the idea of it, considering I'm in such a boat-heavy area. So, aluminum I just got from processing bauxite ore. If you remember when I was mining, I think I showed me mining, that 
there's that, and I just kind of processed it in here because I could. That's a good reason, right? Because I could. Oops, that is not where you go. And there. Speedboat. It's actually really simple to make. But this should, in theory, help me deal with fishing on the ocean. So if I go out here... It's also accelerates very quickly, although I don't think it's supposed to just be going... Okay, it operates strangely. Stop, 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 stop. See, it comes to a dead stop when you get out. So, now that we're on the ocean, if we go fishing... I just realized something. Now oh, there is audio. Weird. Let's just turn it back up some. Uh, this is not working quite as I intended. The fish are kind of not getting to me. Oh, hey. That's the first time I've actually caught a squid from out here. As you can see, I just caught a bowl. Now, I want to make a better rod, but unfortunately that takes fish oil. And I'm going to need quite a bit, actually. Turn. I'll take the fact that the boat turns really poorly over the fact that I can literally just come in here at full speed and it shouldn't break when I ram straight into my dirt wall. Forward ho! There we go. Am I going to be able to get it back out? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah, it, it got back out. Uh, I kind of like how it slides along the side until it gets over here. But I'll need to make a dock at some point. And I actually want to build a channel, like, through here or something. So that way I can actually get up over here. Because I ha still haven't torn that thing down because it's got the nether portal in it. With the really good positioning. And I don't want to tear that down until I build something new. Like a, a portal from another mod or something in order to get there. But... I'm going to probably need to get something. One of my eventual goals, primary goals from this is actually to get not that the regeneration droplets because they can be melted down into life essence, which is used as part of uh, blood magic. But the thing that produces the most of them is koi. Koi takes goldfish and Siamese fighting fish, Siamese Fighting Fish takes Goldfish and Stingray, and Goldfish takes Minnow and Cod. Now, if you remember the book here, it says Normal Cold Frozen, Ocean Cold Frozen, Ocean Hot Arid. So the Stingray should not be able to survive here in theory, and that's not even showing all the fish. This is just the fish that can be caught. Uh, now, these, a good number of these are actually live fish. Like, this this is actually a live squid. Now, I might have to build a fish tank in the ocean, although I think it might be biome-specific and not actually location-specific. Oh, so if I ever built... Well, it, it doesn't really matter too much, because there's upgrades that can be applied to the fish tanks. Actually, I think it's applied to the fish feeder. Uh, no, not the plans. Uh, the salinator upgrade should make it very ocean. Uh, which is kind of... Eh, it's actually not that hard. Fermented spider eye, onion mushrooms. So, I mean, there's that. And I managed to get the... Titanium bucket out of the way. My eventual goal 
we go back to Mariculture real quick, is to get the, oop, too far, this right here, the RF fishing rod, because you just refill it, and it can use all the bait. Every single bait. But it takes a titanium battery, which isn't an issue, it's just redstone, titanium, and iron, and two titanium fishing rods, which the hard part about the fishing rods is the fact that every single piece of polished titanium takes 6,500 millibuckets of fish oil. And so if we look at fish oil, okay, we can't get fish oil from you. Well, I can't get it from you then either. Uh, let's look at, per okay, damselfish. You're killing me here. Okay. Where is... Okay, fine. Fish oil. Fish oil. Why are you not telling me all of a sudden? If I click here, will it tell me? Go through till we find some fish. Oh, here we go. See, like the raw Siamese fighting fish, they'll get you quite a bit, and the goldfish gives you quite a bit. But the default fish, the ones that you can fish up normally, and uh, not you. Like, what are you? Raw bass, raw salmon. They're both bread fish. Uh, however, if we look at... No, the damsel, damsel fish isn't that bad. But it's the raw damsel fish, which means I would have to kill it intentionally. Which seems like a good idea, but... Eh, I'm... I caught a raw goldfish out of here at one point. But in order to make a fish tank... You actually don't make a fish tank. You first need a fish feeder, which is made from wicker, which is made from sugar cane and sticks. It, it's kind of like bees. There's a lot of stuff that I don't really want to do on camera because it's a lot of waiting, and I do kind of want to get the other machines, like the incubator. Not you. The incubator out of the way, which is... Really? White stained clay? I very conveniently have a large amount of white stained clay. I, however, do not have brown dye. Hmm. That's going to be a problem. And the incubator bottom is light blue stained clay, which I can make easy enough. Uh, copper battery. Oh, whoops. Copper battery. Which is really simple. I'm worried about getting into mad science, because I thought I heard at one point that you could corrupt a world, or, I don't know, people word it is destroy a world, and to me that means corrupt it. Oops, I threw you, I didn't put you in the chest. And so that's been driving me away from mad science, is something I want to do, but uh, I think what I'll do is when I get into mad science, I'll just use, uh, I'll make world backups frequently. Let me just show you how slow this goes without these in here. That, that is painfully slow. And I can technically upgrade them two more times, although I would need ice. And then after that, I would need sheets of aluminum, which these are made on the blacksmith anvil. I don't actually believe they increase the fuel usage. It doesn't seem like they do. But these hyperkinetic upgrades are also usable in the incubator, as well as I made some heating upgrades. I don't recommend keeping these in there. Use these only to heat it up. Past that point, it will destroy your fuel usage. And you don't want that. So, yeah, you got to be very careful of that. Uh, something I do kind of want to do... I do want to get a wither... And fight it at some point. Uh, that requires me to actually go do something about a wither. Let's put this book back on here, shall we? Whoops. There. 
there is, I believe, one or two two other books. Uh, one is from the diving stuff, which I most likely won't do, and then there's one that I'm honestly surprised the game didn't give me when I made the uh, Crucible. Uh, you know what? I'm going to move you. There is no reason for me to need to see the pipe. I don't want to actually send these back into the network yet, so I'm leaving them in here. And I'm probably going to... I might make more of these tanks and fill them with all the oil I can find in the meantime. And I, I'm i probably going to work on a lot of the fish breeding stuff off camera and then show it to you uh, probably next time. It's just that Mariculture contains a lot of time-consuming things that are bad for camera. Almost as bad for camera as me just randomly walking around like an idiot. Although, I'm not quite... I have some plans for some things I want to do, but I'm going to need to clear out space for it. Because, like I said, I want to have sort of a whole secretive, you know, mad, mad scientist type of base going on. And, as such, I, uh, there's a bunch of things I'm going to need to do to get that set up. Like, for example, th this is port sort of the plans for the future episode, so I don't expect too much anything out of it. There is an elevator block, and there is, I believe, a magnet module. Yeah, magnet. So what I can do is I can take the elevator... Now, if you remember Red Power 2's frames, Engineer's Toolbox has these socket frames, which can be made from aluminum, which gives me another use for it, or steel, or iron, or bronze, and it works differently than the Red Power 2 frames, but it's the same concept of move things attached to it, uh, but my plan is to not move anything too... I'm going to try to avoid moving too many tile entities with it. Tile entities meaning machines or various things. Sockets, of course, work with it because they're designed by the same person. Because, well, you know, it's all eMasher's mods. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to attach a direction changer. I think there's actually a way where you can apply a redstone signal to it in order to change the direction it's moving. Uh, if not... What I should be able to do is set up sort of like an activator, like an autonomous activator or something, send a redstone pulse, have it activate the uh, this. I'll set it to white mode, which is generic mode, and it should then right-click on it and change it between up or down. That is the worst-case scenario. Uh, with any luck, I should be able to just apply the direction changer and send it a signal when I want to change directions. In theory. Or maybe you can just change it with a redstone signal. But I am going to try and use open computers. My knowledge of LUA is very limited, but I'm attempting to make do with it. But basically my point is I'm going to make a box out of socket frames. And then inside that box I'm going to put my material blocks for what I want it to look like. And then inside this wall I'm going to have an elevator shaft. Now, I'm also going to have a series of carpenter's ladders built into the wall. Uh, it's basically like the emergency ladder in an elevator shaft, like the maintenance ladder. That's the word I'm looking for. So then there'll be la uh, an elevator that physically goes up and down between the different levels, and I'll probably build like a freight elevator somewhere. And... That's the extent of my plans that I wish to reveal at this time. I have some other ideas, although they're a lot more long-term, if that makes any sense. Uh, I am going to do a lot of fishing-related stuff, so I'm going to be doing a lot of fishing off-camera. Uh, something cool I did find out is I can actually... I'm just going to look at these chests manually. Okay, that's a terrible idea. And... Uh, obviously you get different bait from different items. 
I believe it lists the different items, but I was trying to get... I was looking into it. There's different baits of different qualities. The highest quality bait being raw minnows. And certain rods only take certain baits, obviously. So this one takes maggot bait. The The way to get maggot bait is out of zombie-related stuff. So a zombie head gets me 21 maggot bait. Now, this obviously increases the quality of things I can get, and seemingly the rate of fishing. Because you can see, I'm actually getting stuff quite quickly. Now, I do want to make an auto fisher. Uh, however, it requires two wooden rods, and unfortunately, in order to make wooden rods... Uh, I need polished sticks. And every polished stick, you can get them from that. A polished stick takes 5,000 or whatnot. So basically, if I want to get past the basic fishing pole, my only real option is to either catch a million billion raw minnows. Ah, uh, here we go. Which, they get you 75 millibuckets per... Uh, try and catch a ton of damselfish and intentionally kill them. Which, unfortunately, I would have to get the raw ones to show up. Ah, here we go. Uh, those wouldn't be too hard. There's also the cod and the stingrays. Uh, neon tetras are used in making lights, so that's nifty. I don't know how you tell whether or not a fish is male or female. Which is a slight issue, but you can do. You know, neon tetras don't provide much. Uh, what are my other options? Oh yeah, all, raw f all the raw fish do break down. Uh, I'm not sure what the actual best fish for it is. So far, it's looking like the dragonfish at 5,000. Is there anything... Mm. Hmm. Whatever, the dragonfish is pretty much like endgame, because there's also a mod called Hardcore Ender Expansion, which makes the end just a little bit harder. So, actually getting in there and accomplishing anything is going to be a lot harder. Because the Ender Dragon is a lot more difficult to kill. It's not your standard vanilla Ender Dragon. And I do want to fight it at some point, but doing that without a form of flight is suicide. And unfortunately, I'm going to want a form of flight that I can easily sustain, which is not the mechanism jetpack. Uh, one option is advanced genetics, although it's a bit cheaty. I think what I am going to do is I'm going to save the end for when I get into blood magic. Because then I'll be able to use the air sigil, and eventually I'll be able to make the armor, and I'll probably get uh, the phantom bridge, which basically, it's not quite flying, it creates blocks under you. But they move as you walk. It's a really crazy form of flight, that's quite interesting. Uh, imbued slate. I believe that'll require a tier 3. Oh, well, I should know that it requires tier 3 because it uses a magician's blood orb. But if you remember, we got the master's blood orb from the one thing, which is the, I believe, tier 4 altar. With there being 5 altars as a tier. Uh, but my blood magic stuff, I'm probably going to go with a sunken pyramid type thing and build it there because the altar builds out in a sort of pyramid shape. And I'm doing hand things here, but you can't see my hands because I don't have a camera. In other words, you want to see that camera because it is low quality as hell and my lighting is terrible. Like, in my environment here, it's terrible. So, also is extremely jury rigged. But that's beside the point. Uh, what I am going to want to do is go... I'm... Okay. One of the first things I definitely want. End of story. 
something I'm going to build before we finish this because it's irritating me that I don't have it. I need a pump. I desperately need a pump. Uh, request. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I really like this. I'm not going to lie. And request. Oh, uh, missing a stick. Well, I'm going to feed a stick into the system. Plunk. Okay, request. Hooray! Uh, now I'm going to do one of these. Send this, this back into the system, and then request out. Don't screw with me. Okay. And then I'll just... Oh, give me my pump back. I'll just do this manually. This is something I very easily probably could make in, make in off-camera but it's something that I desperately want, and I'm probably going to use a lot of fluid tanks and probably the... Uh, I'm going to make more fluid cables as well. But I'm going to use this to probably send it through uh, some of the fluid conduits and fill up a bunch of tanks with both lava and oil. Although, you know what? We can get steel... Uh, if you were watching my one series that I sort of started, and then the one that I kind of abandoned, uh, I can use a drum to store both of them, and then work off of that afterwards. So, what I am going to want... I actually really like how this works out. It's not quite an ME system, and I'm fine with that. Uh, really? Steel. Really? Oh, right. Derp. Okay, let's feed you back into the system and request two. Really? Really? Quest 2. There we go. Okay, what I'll probably do is feed these in... I do not believe you can use a bucket on these. But, you know what? Let's try. No, you can't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just fill one of these with lava and one of these with oil. And then that should tie me over for a good while. Uh, I think I'm going to call this good for now. Bit of a disarrayed episode. Still not sure if I like the willow wood. If you have any better suggestions of probably wood or maybe like, you know, brick from my texture pack here. Oh, God, do not look up drums. That is apparently an FPS nuke. Uh, yeah. I will use pretty much any kind of, like, easy accessible brick or cobblestone. Uh, keep in mind that pretty much all of my cobblestone, there's a few that don't, because I haven't messed with the railcraft stuff yet, but, and, like, mossy cobble. Uh, how does? Uh, it's not terribly hard to make, I could actually make this pretty simply. Because in order to get the bio stuff, let's take six of these. I can actually throw these into the crusher. Um, how much cobble do I have? Cobble! You know what? Let's grab... 32, because I don't know how much this is going to be worth. So let's put one in. Biomass 5. Okay, so each one of these is worth half of a cobble. So I'll be able to get six blocks worth. 
And I never went and recovered the, uh, the mossy cobble out of that dungeon, so I think I'll do that. Although, I will make the walls out of mossy cobble if people believe it to be a good idea. It's just... I want to like this because it's green and because it's got that whole, like, mossy texture. But it, it just doesn't fit. It just does not fit at all. And as for this... I'm not sure I like this quite as much either, but it's still better than how this willow looks. It kind of bothers me. Oh, and this is a uh, quarried stone from Railcraft. I don't think I actually showed that any of the previous times. And I've got a uh, thing for iron ore and clay here now. I use a lot of clay in Mariculture. It is completely insane. Why exactly have I left you sitting there? There. That's better. And... I suppose that's useful for quick disposal of items. But, uh, I'm gonna call this good. I'm gonna do a lot of fishing. I'm probably gonna build at least one fish tank and fish feeder and whatnot. Uh, off camera. And then I'll show you that next time. A bit of a talky episode, this one. Uh, hopefully people don't mind that. I'm going to need to farm up a lot of reeds, apparently. So, I'm going to be doing that. It's actually really funny, because this is conveniently pretty perfect for planting reeds on. I don't know if it's going to be any better as if it was too wide. But, I'm going to call this good for now, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.